Too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave me. games and collectors and welcome to the um, Sunday Talkie. In this one I'm talking about my gaming history which I know a few YouTubers have done this. I know I was planning on doing it so um, and also I'm using the new webcam I'm using the um, Microsoft HD is it 3000 and I'm using the um, microphone as well so hopefully you see my um, good looks better <laughs> and also I hope my voice is better as well through this microphone as well so um, let's get cracking. Um, so my um, first game experience was on the Atari 2600 on Junior console, which my uh, mum bought for me and my sister, and we played games like Missile Command, Pac-Man, which I think is actually pretty decent on the Atari 2600. And we also played games as well like Oink, Sequest, Frostbite, which I actually bought me on pocket money. And end up destroying the box from the manual. Silly me. Think silly things what we do when we're younger. And also we rented games out like Carnival. We also rented out Star Wars. Was it the Empire? Yeah, it. The Empire Strikes Back. Remember that. And also Spider Man. Oh yeah, and we also owned um, Cuba as well, which is another cracking game. And um, and also I bought a game off my friend, which was the um, Circus Circus, and also them um, Twiddle Pads as well which I've actually tried it for actually got the 2600 games on the modded Xbox but trying to use the um, X who's trying to use these on Circus Circus you can't play it's virtually impossible because you've got like a stick man on like a trampoline and one goes up and goes down at an angle and it's these like square balloons and you have to like get them all it's virtually impossible it's too sensitive so um, anyway, <laughs> from the uh, Atari 20th century I ended up owning me on my first com computer which was the BC Micro Model B and um, which I played games like Repton. I used to do used to do some programming in both basic and machine code which I've forgotten most of it now. I also did that and I know my friend taught me that. I've actually, I know I've lost time contact with my friend, I know he's, gone in, I know he's a software programmer. Um, anyway, off the topic, um, I played Get Repton, I used to play um, Billy's, was it Billy's Wild West or something, remember right? And also I had um, Elite, oh yeah, Bad Baron was pretty good on the Beauty Micro, and also um, Tapper as well, which is a good, well, that was a decent arcade port. And I also class Repton as the Acorn mascot for the machines. And, and I want to get hold of it, I won't matter. I got and I had my Boosie Micro up to actually about 2001, 2003 round about and at the time I ended up looking on eBay to see what they go for and that because I was going to get sell it and they ended up going like is it 10 to 15 pound they were going for with loads of games and a floppy drive which I had the floppy drive as well and I had games and I ended up chucking them in and I thought oh, what's the point <laughs> and that was like 10 to 15 pound and that was the actual couldn't deliver as well and I stupidly end up chucking it away. And I have to say, the Boosie Micro keyboard, Molder B, is the best keyboard I've ever used. Beats any modern keyboard today. And I've heard the Acorn Electra has got a, got a decent keyboard as well, like the Boosie Micro. Never um, played a one, but I have seen them. I know they're small. So if I can't get a Boosie Micro, Molder B at a decent price. I might end up getting an Acorn Electra because I know they're cheaper. And I know you can add like an SD SD card to them as well. Same with the BC Micro. So, um, and then from the BC Micro on the game side, I went, I think, was it? I've got a list here. Remember, right? I went to the, that's it, the Atari ST520FM, which had half a megabyte of RAM. And I played games like Pan, which I'm sure came out like six months before the, um, came out on the Super Nintendo. And I don't think it came on came out on the Mega Drive. I remember playing games like that. Cannon Fodder as well. I played that on the Atari. 
and I also played, I think it was sure I played a Elite on that as well. As well, and I also played Barbarian and Barbarian 2 on the Atari ST as well. And Pang, I have to say, Pang's a brilliant game if you. I'll tell you, <laughs> I know I've got. I've got that on the I mean like for Super Nintendo but I've got I know I've got on the Amiga I'd rather play the Amiga version as well. Kind of fun it and then and then from the Atari ST I had well, I kept the Atari ST and ended up adding an Archimedes three thousand and ten which had the um, like green keys keyboard like the F one, F two and all them. So I had that and I got games like Zoo as well as Repton. All the um, Acorn greats as well as Elite on that, which, and I have to say the Archimedes was a more was obvious a more powerful machine than the Atari ST 520FM. The sound chip in the Atari ST, I think it, I think it was more or less like the um, Nintendo chip, just like an 8-bit sound chip. But the Archimedes had a cracking good sound chip in it, and then I end up selling the Archim no. Yeah, I sold the Archimedes 3010 and then I'm getting um, a Super Nintendo and end up playing like your typical your Mario Mario games like your Mario World, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong. I also played Street no, I played Street Fighter 2 which I remember paying I'm sure it was like 50, 60 quid. I remember paying that. And I think I was sixteen years old at the time, sixteen, seventeen. Crikey. And now I'm more or less paying that for not today modern games. So I had that. And then about a year or two later, I still had them the um, Atari ST and the Super Nintendo and I ended up adding a Mega Drive to it and bought more of the exclusives like Sonic the Hedgehog games. Like Sonic 1 2. I don't think I bought Sonic 3 actually. Pardon me. And I also played um as well, Sonic Sonic 2, I know I played Sonic games and also Alicia Alicia Dragon, which I know I've got. As well as them. That were just more of the um, exclusive side of it. And then from that I ended up selling the Atari ST and I ended up buying an Amiga twelve hundred and I got the Comet Relief Pack, which was, I think was a fairly decent game. I ended up playing um, Cannon for the 2 on it and also played um, the Pinball, like Pinball Dreams, Pinball Fantasy as well on that. And I also played, I think it was Lemon's Tribe, I think it was Lemon Tribes. Because I actually preferred the, um, I know it was on the Super Nintendo, but I preferred the, um, the keyboard and mouse over that. And I also played um, Zool 2 as well. And that was brilliant as well. And then from the uh, Amiga 1200. I sold all three and then I'm going to the um, PlayStation 1 and I end up... No I didn't. I missed the console off. I went to the Sega Dreamcast and ended up playing um, games like Crazy Taxi, um, Jet... Oh, like Jet... Was it Jens? Jet... Oh, I've got it here. <laughs> Jet Set Radio as well. I ended up playing games like that as well as House of Dead 2 which I've got. Sonic. I never played Shinobi. I actually never owned it when I had the Dreamcast. I also had the original Power Stone. And I have to say now, I don't have the original Power Stone, but I do have Power Stone 2 in my um, collection, which I keep in there. So I had those. And then I sold my um, Dreamcast. And I, I and also I didn't have the Amiga. I lost the Terry. And then I went to the PlayStation 1. And I also I did a Nintendo 64. 65 you tipple like your Mario 64 and Mario Kart 64 Banjo Kazooie had those as well and on the PlayStation one side I had like your Red Racer Soulblade which I got fairly recently and also got the your Resident Evil your Silent Hill which I need to get them as well so I ended up so and, and so forth and then I went to the PlayStation 2 and I remember getting games like SSX not SX, was it SX? I think it was the first one, because when I got when the machine came out, and, I, and, I, and that's when I sold the um, I, the um, N64 and the PlayStation 1 when I got the PlayStation 2, and then I kept the PlayStation 2 f for a couple of years, and then the original Xbox came out, and I ended up selling the PlayStation 2 and getting the original Xbox, and then playing it like your typical games, 
on that. Like I've got like House of the Fruit, which I've got there, and I had Outrun, Panzer Dragon, Autumn, which I've got, which I'm glad. And Od Mod Odyssey, Odyssey World, which I played to death, and I end up completing it. I've got it in my collection now as well, <laughs> and I remember completing that right to the end. Oh yeah, and I, I missed some games on the Atari ST, which I used to be able to complete right to the end without losing a life. Space Ace. Ah, that was a brilliant game as well. I forgot to mention that from the Atari ST and that's a brilliant. I used to be able to complete that and I spent many months playing that. Solid. Brilliant that. I've got, I know I've got an Amiga. I haven't played an Amiga but I have played it through um, on the emulator on the Xbox and Xbox and it's too sensitive. Yeah, I could pick that when it's my turn, that YouTube High School Challenge. So I know it's a lot easier on the Amiga. <laughs> Using a proper joystick. Uh, anyway, <laughs> and um, so from the um, original Xbox, I went to the PlayStation 3 at first, and I bought as it more Storm Pacific, you know the what the cars in the desert. When I saw the PlayStation 2, and not many games came out for that like, ages. I ended up buying the 360, and I bought you like you took all the Halos, Master Chief, Gears of War, and all them. So I bought them, which kept me going until PlayStation 3 picked up. Like PS3 side, I have completed The Last of Us. I also completed Heavy Rain as well, which I remember that quite well. That was actually a pretty decent game as well. And then the only thing I don't like the PlayStation one is the updates. It takes longer than Xbox 360 said. <laughs> so um, from that, I went from the um, all the way to the. Um, I ended up buying a Wii U, which while I had the PlayStation 3, 360, and then I sold the PlayStation 3. Because I wasn't planning on collecting any games for it. And then, uh, slow enough, I ended up selling my Wii U. <laughs> and I bought an Xbox One. I will be buying another Wii U. Probably when Star Fox comes out. So I'd have to want another Wii U. <laughs> I've got no plans buying a PlayStation 3. That's for sure. I don't want to collect for it. And that's about it. I've still got the 360. Which I'm really happy and um, there's one or two consoles of which when I started collecting has actually um, impressed me quite a bit like the Sega Master System I did, um, I did the only experience I had that back in the day was uh, actually at Boots and same with NES but um, the Master System I, I like a little bit more than NES it's, I think it's a good cracking machine and, um, another, and the Sega certainly surprised me especially since you can play the Japanese games on it as well so um, and that's it for now <laughs> I should hopefully be in next week's YouTube high score challenge should be <laughs> I, should, I should have enough time for it and um, there will definitely be a pick ups video so until then I will catch you all I'll catch you all next week bye